The next major smartphone is upon us, and it's Huawei's turn. The P40 Pro has more curves, more power, and in true Huawei fashion, is all about further advancing mobile photography. But is it your gadget match? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. If you're watching this video the day that it goes live, then today is March 26th, the day of the Huawei P40's scheduled launch in Paris. But these are different times that we live in, and instead of me going to Paris, Paris sorta came to me. In this box is the Huawei P40, but before we begin with our unboxing, let's wipe it down. When the DHL delivery guy dropped by today, little did he know he was actually delivering an unannounced smartphone. How do you open it? <laughs> As you can see, it's so important that it's sealed really, really well. Let's get on with our unboxing. Let's start. The Huawei P40 Pro comes in this white box. This is the retail packaging, by the way. Over here, it says co-engineered with Leica. At least the cameras are. And here at the bottom, Huawei's answer to the Google Play Store. Let's open it up. There it is. Just pull on the tab over here to lift the phone out of the box. The color we have is my favorite, blue. <laughs> but we'll set that aside for now. We have another box with the SIM ejector tool and paperwork and a clear jelly case. Also in the box, a wall charger. And if you can see by these round plugs, our unit is meant for the European market. Lastly, there's a USB-C cable and wired headphones. Back to the phone. Let's peel this off, shall we? <laughs> ASMR fans, this one's for you. Oh my, this color is so beautiful. I believe it's officially called deep sea blue. Depending on how it's hit by the light, you get shades of glossy royal blue to navy. I love it. Okay, Michael Josh, time to set up the phone. For biometric security, the P40 Pro has an in-display fingerprint scanner, as well as facial recognition that should work fast even in challenging lighting conditions. New navigation gestures, let's try. Swipe inward from the left edge to go back. Nice. You can also do it from the right. Swipe up from the bottom to return to the home screen and swipe up and hold to view recent tasks. Congratulations, all right, good to go. Here's how the user interface looks like. More so now than in previous iterations, EMUI feels closer to stock Android, except that it's missing an app drawer. Now, this doesn't come bundled with the unit, but I wanna show you the Huawei Nano memory card. Huawei's own memory card format, that's the same size as a Nano SIM card. There's a dedicated slot for it here in the SIM tray, as you can see. Nano memory card goes over here. And the SIM card goes on the other side. Now that we have service, we can get on with the rest of the video. This is the Huawei P40 Pro. Like many other recent flagships of late, its lineage is written all over its face. I mean, its body. From its size, rounded back side, and corners, there's no denying this phone belongs to the Huawei P series. The color options are a bit muted this year, in stark contrast to the colorful gradients that Huawei popularized. This year, the pickings are a bit more classic, ice white, black, and my obvious choice, deep sea blue. 
It also comes in two matte finishes that are more resistant to fingerprints, silver frost and blush gold. But now that I see the P20, P30, and P40 lying side by side, it's pretty clear that the last few years have been less about color and design, but more of an evolution in mobile photography. With each update, the camera module gets bigger and bigger. This year, it's doubled in size. And promise we'll talk about what all of this means later on, but first, let's flip the phone around. While some brands are abandoning curved displays, Huawei is taking them even further this year, keeping its curved sides and adding curves to its top and bottom also. The company says this was inspired by surface tension. You know, when a cup is just about to overflow with water but holds its shape. In the short period that I've used the device, this quad curved display felt more aesthetic than functional. This Full HD Plus OLED display sports a 90Hz refresh rate with buttery smooth transitions and animations. This year, there are three P40 flavors, P40, P40 Pro, and a decked out P40 Pro Plus. Screen sizes differ slightly. The screen on the P40 is 6.1 inches, while the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus are 6.58. And if you ask me, I think the P40 Pro is just the right size. Huawei says the in-display fingerprint scanner has a 30% larger surface area for you to place your finger. Faster unlock times are also promised, but both of these phones have fast unlock times and I really didn't notice the difference. The new unlocking animations are pretty cool though, and if it's not your cup of tea, there's Face Unlock also, that utilizes the dual selfie cameras on the device. From a large notch on the P20 to a teardrop notch on the P30, a punch hole makes room for these selfie cameras on the P40. And only on the Pro model, an IR sensor for fast and secure face unlock, even in low light scenarios. As with every update, the Huawei P40 builds on its already excellent camera. Depending on which model you get, you'll get either a triple, a quad, or penta camera setup. All three phones have the same main camera hardware, the star of the show actually, a 50 megapixel ultra vision wide angle camera that boasts of the largest image sensor in the market today. Because of self quarantine and social distancing, I don't have a lot of real world photos to show you, but I did go for a quick photo walk with an N95 mask on. I also had two pairs of gloves for touching the elevator and opening doors, which I disposed of immediately. But having said that, if you can stay indoors, I highly recommend that you do. As can be expected, the P40 Pro took excellent photos both during the day and at night, even in very dark conditions and even without night mode turned on. There are supposedly eight focus points per pixel on the device. That allows the phone to quickly latch onto subjects, even if they're moving. This shot, for example, of a plane came out great, even if I rushed to take it. So basically what happened is I saw one fly overhead, I quickly grabbed the phone, opened the camera app, switched to 10x zoom, and hit the shutter button. So yeah, the long range telephoto feature that Huawei introduced last year is still there. A periscope system enables 5x optical zoom and 10x hybrid zoom. And new on the P40's zoom lens is optical image stabilization, which works together with AI stabilization to counter the shake you get when zooming into that far away. Here are more samples. Finally, there's an ultra wide angle lens. And here's what some sample photos look like. We'll give this camera a little bit more of a test in our review video, so to make sure you don't miss that, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. AI photography has always been a big keyword on the P series and the P40 comes with their next gen AI scene detection. It can do things like remove moving subjects from the background of a photo and reduce reflections when you're taking pictures of uh, something behind glass, for example. Here's an example of the remove passerby feature. Now you can see Chai walked behind me while the photo was being taken and so when you go in to edit the photo you can hit remove passerby and it will pick the best frame without her in the shot. Remove reflection on the other hand increases the contrast of an image to reduce the glare but it doesn't remove it completely. 
There are two selfie cameras on the P40 Plus instead of one, supposedly for better selfie portraits. Here, have a look and let me know what you think about these samples. Content creators might also like the fact that the selfie camera shoots in 4K, and this is a sample shot during the day. And this is what it looks like at night. What do you think? If you flip it over and use the assortment of rear cameras, the P40 Pro lets you shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second. You can also shoot time lapses in 4K using the ultra wide angle lens. Adding OIS to the telephoto lens also kicks in when you're shooting video using the zoom lens. And now you get the time stopping 7,680 frames per second ultra slow-mo video capture that we first saw on the Mate 30 Pro. The P40 series is powered by Huawei's Kirin 990 5G processor, which among all its speed improvements is a promised 460% improvement in terms of neural processing. As can be expected, games like PUBG, Asphalt 9, and Call of Duty run fine on the device and without a hiccup. More on how you can get these apps in a bit, but first let's talk about specs. Huawei has yet to send me a complete spec sheet, but my P40 Pro review device comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage out of the box. Both the P40 and P40 Pro have 4,200 milliamp hour batteries. In my time with the phone, I got a solid day and a half of average use, about seven hours of screen on time before it conked out. Charging was super fast too. It ships with a 40 watt supercharger that got me to 68% after a 30 minute charge and an hour and 10 minutes to get to a hundred. What's more impressive is that the P40 Pro supports 40 watt wireless charging as long as you get Huawei's optional supercharge 40 watt wireless charger. I've only had two days with the phone, so I'll need more time to dive into all of its features, but I wanted to get to some of your questions. Soez from Germany asks, how are the macro shots versus the ultra wide? I actually had the same question and it looks like the ultra wide angle camera doesn't act as a macro lens anymore. Here's a shot I took using the P30 Pro. When I used the P40 Pro, I couldn't focus as close using its ultra wide angle lens. So I moved back and used the 5X zoom lens and got this photo instead. Jeff from the Philippines and Mark from the US ask, how much better is that camera versus the P30 Pro? I haven't had a lot of time comparing these two phones, but here are my initial findings. I'm finding that the P40 is better at things like HDR as can be seen in this example. And when and there's a tiny bit of light to work with, it also does a better job in low light. Although the P30 Pro seems to let more light in when shooting in total darkness. Adding OIS to the telephoto lens helps a lot. And theoretically, once that software is rolled out, those new AI features are pretty dope too. Bagas from Indonesia asks, what about the OS? Is it still Android? Good question. The P40 Pro runs EMUI 10.1, built on the open source version of Android 10. Everything's there except for Google Play services. Which brings me to the question from Juan in the United States. How does it compare without standard Google apps? Huawei's app gallery is slowly coming along with apps like Telegram, Microsoft Office, Snapchat, all being officially offered. Also from within the app gallery, there's now a link to download Facebook. All good signs that the rest are coming soon. There are other ways to get your favorite apps onto the phone. One of them is called Phone Clone, which lets you restore from an old device your old apps will come too. I personally just used APK Pure and have used it to get my favorite apps, including Instagram, Disney Plus, and Spotify on my P40 Pro. And yep, at Mir Zaffa, that includes Netflix too. So is the Huawei P40 Pro your gadget match? I'm going to need more time with the phone to be able to give you my full thoughts, but price is going to play a very important part on whether or not I'm going to be able to give it a glowing recommendation. But in terms of hardware, the P40 Pro is one heck of an Android phone. Here's to hoping the software challenges get sorted out soon. Thankfully, the updates look promising. You'll notice in this video, I didn't really talk much about the P40 Pro 
Plus because I don't have a demo unit available. But if you do want to see that, let me know. I think a great head to head with the S20 Ultra is in the books. Also, as we're shooting this video before the keynote, we don't have pricing and availability information just yet. But as soon as we get that info, we'll put it in the description box below. And that was our Huawei P40 Pro unboxing and hands on. For more videos like this one, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and there we'll be posting sample photos. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Till the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.